Hi, everyone. Can you hear me? Um, so when I was thinking about how I would share a little gift, I wanted to talk about a little bit about myself. Um, I come from storytellers. So I'm originally from Kenya, a small town, small village called Isiolo. And uh, I grew up uh, at a place where we, we grew our vegetables, we shared our ingredients, and community was really just a part of our identity. I grew up with my grandfather, Muzei Tato. Um, and he taught me my first lesson around identity. So he was a chain smoker, a former military man. Um, and he would sort of like hang around with his buddies. And when I would come around, he would ask me a question. And it's always the same question. <laughs> uh, he would ask me, what's your name? As uh, from the tribe that I, I am, that you inherit your, your ancestors' names. So it's not just your name. Um, and in my case, it's Asha Tato Shuna Kule Dandarcha. And you know, as I, as I grew up and moved to Toronto, to Canada, at the age of 11, I was in a new space. And oftentimes, this comes to me. And I am reminded, and this lesson of um, being truly yourself in spaces that you may not see yourself. And so I'm going to fast forward to 2015, when I came to Vancouver. I found myself hungry. I found myself perusing grocery aisles, going to restaurants. I would go to farmer's markets, where I love to shop, looking for local ingredients. And I couldn't find those spices. I couldn't find anything that I could identify with. Um, and this led me to initiate, perhaps, a food business, which I've never been in. <laughs> Uh, but I knew that, I knew that you know, I was looking for it, but more folks were looking for it. Um, and so we started at farmer's markets and introduced inspired Afro-Caribbean food. And one of the big slogans came up with four pillars. Um, I had no idea what, where this was going to lead, but I knew that sustainability was a key point. Identity was huge. Um, and so right now, Kula Foods um, produces Afro-Caribbean food for a more inclusive, plant-forward future. What this means to me, as we further went into research over the years, is that we found that African Americans and African Canadians are consuming plant-based foods five times more than many communities. Yet, I would go into these spaces, and they are less than 1% repre uh, represented of food of African diaspora. And so I'm really proud to be one of the fewer businesses that are offering this. Um, and I get to kind of tell the stories of the rich, diverse foods uh, that comes from the Caribbean, from East Africa, West, North, South, everywhere, right? And uh, you can find us in many spaces. Uh, one of our, our biggest prideful moment is when we went in with community, we kind of like rushed Whole Foods <laughs> rushed, like literally, there are videos out there. We rushed in and we celebrated that extra step. Um, sorry, I'm a little emotional. Yeah. The other piece is my mother. So she was really, really dedicated to, you know, ensuring that we had access to the most nutritional food. She didn't have a lot. She was a mo she's a mom of 11 in Canada, we'd get on the bus and we'd have our you know, routine. And um, you know, 30 minutes out, we got on the bus and, and got all the ingredients that we needed. And I think that's one of my biggest inspiration. So kula means eating Kiswahili. Um, that is my native tongue, one of, one of many. <laughs> and our key is to nourish our communities. We tell stories, like the summary is we tell stories through foods. Um, so I invite you, firstly, I say, let's cool it together, let's eat together, but beyond eating, let's connect. Um, if you identify with flavors <laughs> and you, you care about sustainability, and sustainability for me is health and access to cultural foods, uh, please join me. We are on a path right now. Kula is going beyond just food. We are establishing and planning to establish a co-op grocery here in BC. Um, yeah. So 
I'm going to leave you with this. My, uh, any information or discussions or resources that you can point in my direction, please do. Um, but I do think part of the just system is being able to access health and, part, and through food. And so that's what we do. So let's cool it together. Thank you. Thank you.